Network communications involves a suite of protocols known as the Internet Protocol Suite, or more commonly known as the TCP IP Protocol Suite. This protocol suite includes all the protocols used in various aspects of end-to-end -end network communications, including addressing, routing, and reliability. The TCP IP protocol suite is also a conceptual model that classifies and organizes the various protocols into four different layers, network access, internet, transport, and application. The transport layer includes two protocols, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, and UDP, User Datagram Protocol. These protocols determine how the data will be delivered, reliably or unreliably. It is up to the network application to choose. If the application chooses TCP, the data will be delivered reliably, with guaranteed delivery and assembled in the proper order or it can choose UDP when the data needs to be delivered as quickly as possible with some tolerance for loss of data. TCP adds some overhead, which means there will be some additional delay. For example, the network application HTTP uses TCP to make sure all the data is delivered reliably. Here the user types in the URL www Dot my bank dot example. TCP is used to transport the information reliably between the user's computer and the web server. The web server, also using TCP, sends the requested data, the web page, in separate segments. Each segment includes a sequence number so the receiver knows if anything is missing and so it can assemble it in the proper order. UDP is a simpler protocol used to send data as quickly as possible, even if some data doesn't get delivered. Network applications, such as those used for sending voice and real-time video, can sacrifice some data loss in order for the data to be delivered as quickly as possible. As you can see, UDP does not include any functions for reliability such as there are no sequence numbers in the UDP segments. To summarize, the applications such as those that perform file transfers, downloading web pages, and email, all use the reliable transport protocol TCP, whereas UDP is used for applications such as real-time video and voice, where speed is more important than reliability.